Hi guys, welcome back to Nairobi Legal Insights. This video is a continuation of our previous video, which was an introduction to an overview of corporate insolvency in the Kenyan context. We are going to be looking at some of the technical terms uh, that were brought out in the previous video so that you are able to understand them as we go along. To understand corporate insolvency and reorganization, it is very important that you pay close attention to certain technical terms so that you will know what sort of procedures or measures can be undertaken to help a company facing financial problems. So it is important from the onset for you to get the distinction between financial distress and economic distress. Based on a certain set of facts, when can you say that this company is facing financial distress and not economic distress? So, from the onset, get the distinction between these two terms so that when you see a certain situation, you can be able to judge and know what sort of measures are going to be taken in a particular circumstance. So, when we talk about financial distress, what we mean here is that a company is currently unable to meet its obligations as they fall due, but this does not mean that you're going to go and take drastic measures such as liquidation, which is one of the insolvency procedures. And we are going to be explaining what is liquidation and at what point can we say that uh, this company should be liquidated. On the other side, when we talk about economic distress, what we mean here is that a company is facing fundamental issues to the extent that even if you go and inject in more capital, you still have a company that is not viable. So get this distinction because the measures and procedures and the tactics you're going to use to help uh, that particular company are different based on these two uh, completely different situations. Simply put, when we talk about financial distress, there is a lack of there's a temporary lack of liquidity. It is just an issue of cash flow problems uh, to the extent that uh, when some creditors need their money, the company is unable to actually fulfill that promise. But of course, the company in this, uh, to this extent is able to operate as a going concern, meaning that uh, it can continue operating for a foreseeable uh, future. On the other side of economic distress, like we stated earlier, here, the company is facing fundamental problems. So as you can see, you should be able to judge that based on these circumstances, this company is facing financial distress. And as far as insolvency law and reorganization is concerned, these are the tactics we are going to use to give the company a fresh start. If a company is facing economic distress, you're able to say, here we have fundamental issues and the only way we can resolve uh, these uh, problems is by liquidating uh, the company. And that term is going to be simplified so that you appreciate it much better. Having understood the distinction between financial distress and economic distress, in case you're presented with a certain set of facts about company A, you should be able to read those facts and understand that this company is facing financial distress and not economic distress. Why is this important? As far as insolvency law and reorganization is concerned, the survival strategies that you're going to use in response uh, to financial distress and economic distress are very different. So pay close attention to these two technical terms because they inform the strategies and measures you're going to use to uh, resolve the problems that company A could be facing. One of the key things you need to pay close attention to again is that not all companies that encounter financial distress are worth being liquidated. And we are going to be explaining what liquidation is in more videos to come. So the strategies are different. If a company is in financial distress, the strategies are different. If a company is undergoing economic distress, we also have strategies and mechanisms to help that company. In fact, one of the key things you need to note is that uh, if a company is undergoing financial distress, in this uh, particular circumstance, the problems are not as deep. You can basically go and reorganize that company and it will become viable 
and it can continue operating for the benefit of their shareholders and of course the creditors and other stakeholders. So please pay close attention to these two terms because they will inform the insolvency procedures or mechanisms uh, that you can apply to help a company best on a certain set of circumstances it is in. In our next video, we are going to explain other two technical terms so that you understand them from the onset. We are going to be able to distinguish cash flow insolvency from balance sheet insolvency. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider subscribing so that you receive notifications every single time we post a new video on insolvency law and reorganization. You can also follow us on Twitter for active engagement. And of course, the same handle applies for LinkedIn at Nairobi Legal Insights so that you can be able to share any questions uh, that you might have. You can comment on this video so that I get to know some of the challenges you could be facing. And of course, see you next time.